Hey, we're here at CES 2019 in Las Vegas. I'm here with Julian. He's a doctor, and he designed this. I don't even know what this is because we're in the biggest John Deere thing that they make. Well, it's not quite the biggest. They make two levels bigger, but this is the biggest machine they make, and this is a variant of it. This, every seed counts. So this gets the grain uh, and, and, and plants the seeds. And I, what does it do? I don't even know. It's yeah. just big and awesome. Yeah. So once the, once the plant is growing and you're going through a field of tall corn plants, for example, this machine pulls in all that material and it takes basically all of that material and it separates the grain from the rest of it. Okay, so the coolest part of it is that in and of itself, you know, you almost can't believe that that can happen, that that you can actually get individual kernels from separating it from the rest of the plant, holds on to the kernels, shoots the rest of the stuff out of the back. The coolest part of the machine is that there's artificial intelligence inside that constantly takes pictures of the kernels. And if it detects that there's too much trash or the kernels are a little bit broken, it optimizes itself. So it literally is a factory on wheels. That's unbelievable. And it's not grabbing a, a, a full cob of corn. It's grabbing each individual kernel. Each individual kernel, correct. And, and that's good for feeding uh, animals. It's good for feeding people. It's good for making popcorn. Yeah, everything else. And it's good for a ton of other things that are made out of corn. Like ethanol. Like ethanol, or even the dashboard of some automobiles actually have some corn in them. Really? Yes, yes. So corn is the base for so many products. In fact, CDs were actually made in part with corn. I didn't know that. Yep. That's amazing. Now, uh, too bad we don't use CDs anymore for <laughs> just about anything. Um, now, could you pull cobs as well and, and clear off all those uh, those uh, leaves and stuff? Or is it only for uh, pulling the actual uh, kernels? It's only for pulling the actual kernels. And by the way, this machine also works on any other type of grain. So wheat, canola, really, really small grain. It's magical at doing that. For pulling the cobs, that's a whole different other machine. This big thing is just for pulling little tiny minute uh, pieces of grain and stuff. That's unbelievable. That is unbelievable. It, uh, it's, it's an incredibly complicated machine. Uh, it has over 20,000 parts, weighs over 22,000 pounds, has thousands of lines of software, and all of that is meant so that you can go through a field, pull individual kernels away from the rest of the plant, and do it without losing kernels. That's the biggest thing. Now, how hard is it to drive this thing? I look out over here, I think it would be pretty easy. you got a big, lot of open space, good windshield, uh, nice steering wheel, not a lot of uh, creature comforts, but you do have Bluetooth, some uh, you know, uh, air conditioning maybe, a little bit of defrosting. What, what, have, what have you got here? You designed this. What is this called? This looks like a joystick. I, I imagine being Maverick when I'm using this. Yeah, it is actually kind of like being Maverick. So we call that joystick the hydro handle, and that basically controls both the speed forward and backward of this vehicle. It also then, all of those buttons control some of the functions uh, around the vehicle and in the vehicle. Now, that also is an important point because this vehicle is also powered by GPS and it is self-steering. So you need the hydro handle for different parts of the field, but the majority of the time you tell the GPS to take over and the machine just drives itself. So it's pretty easy to drive. It is pretty easy to drive. It's, we've, we've made it easy to drive with technology and operate it. Yeah. It's got all sorts of great functions and features here you can tell. What do you think are the, the top features that make this stand out? I mean, basically, the, this environment, as you pointed out, we also have focused a lot of energy on making this a pleasant environment. When farmers are out in the field, um, they'll sometimes be in this seat, in this environment, for, for 15, 18, 20 hours at a time. Because really? They got to get all that grain off the field before bad weather hits, before it goes bad, before all these things happen that farmers have to deal with. So they have to get to it as fast as possible. Wow, I always thought farming was a slow process, but uh, apparently there's immediacy, which is great. Uh, you, you designed this handle. Tell me a little bit about the design that went into this and why you designed it that way. We basically wanted it such that when your hand falls on it, it's just a natural position, and you want to spend, you can spend 20 hours just holding onto that handle, making adjustments when you can, but never get tired. Why two seats here? Is that so that you can have a co-pilot and then also switch and uh, do shifts? Uh, no, not for shifts. Uh, this is officially called a trainer seat. So 
it is oftentimes where you want some company in the combine. You also want to be able to train a new operator, so we felt it was important to have two positions here. Very cool, and you've got a lot of screens that give you visuals because it's so large, uh, the GPS and everything else like that. Really an unbelievable machine. Uh, know how much horsepower you're pulling? 525 horsepower. Wow, and what's the top speed? Um, the, top, the fastest you want to go through a field while harvesting is about six to seven miles per hour. But you might need to bring this on the road at some point to transport it, is that correct? Yeah, correct. So 15 miles per hour. Wow. Very cool. Thank you so much. He's Julian. I'm Michael. You be terrific. Check out everything else on beterrific.com. Until next time, be terrific. <laughs>